wait till we get that one, yeah? Most definitely, most definitely. And then are we going to have King Lizzie? Uh, I like the prince myself, so I, I can't I see myself changing. Prince, yeah. prince, well, if it's for a younger man, you know, I'm only 21. So. That's it. Forget it, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be around for ages. Now, you're extremely individual. You've got this extremely individual style both before and during your fight. Does this, do you do the sort of the posing and all the sort of grimacing to unnerve your opponents? No, not at all. I mean, it's in me, uh, and then down the performer when I get in there and getting up to the ring, it's totally me. That's the way I'm comfortable. That's what I have to do, you know. So, uh, Producer's a great fight end of the night and it pulls off well for me. It is entertaining, a lot of people like it and some people don't. But no. what the hell are them people that don't? <laughs> hey. <laughs> now you just secured the WBO featherweight title, but that's not the first weight that you fought at, is it? So you used to be the super panting weight? I used to be the super panting weight international world, WBC champion. Yeah. So why the change? Um, it was a step up for a title, w the WBO world title, so um, I was comfortable at the way. I thought I'd go up and beat C. Robinson. Did it easy, you know? Has it got anything to do with the fact that there's a uh, more sort of more fights and uh, more money necessarily <laughs> in the well, heavyweight? Well, the featherweight is uh, is a good money bracket, but I knew what I was getting anyway, so um, it was all right, you know. I mean, what's what's the heaviest weight you could actually realistically go for? Um, I'm not sure. Then welterweights better watch out. <laughs> the yeah, lightweights. <laughs> <laughs> and do you, are we going to go for lightweight? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Not yet, though. Not yet. I'm sticking the featherweight for a bit, you know, and then maybe step down on another world title, super banter. It should be world titles all along, you know. It should be. It's You're going to do it, aren't you, now? Ah, so there will be, Danny. There will be. There will be. Positive thinking. Mm. Now, yesterday afternoon, the Boxing Iraqi announced a new series of measures aimed to protect boxers, and these include an increase of 24 hours between the weigh-in and the fight to avoid dehydration, compulsory uh, annual brain scans, and greater participation from ringside doctors. What do you think of these new measures? Uh, I think it's great, basically, but uh, it was already there to see before, and so uh, I think we've had great supervision in the past. But um, it is improving a bit, but um, I don't think there'll be any more changes anyway. I think the last one changed anyway. Uh, it was unfortunate and sad, but if you look at other sports, it's totally other, a lot more injuries, you know, in other sports, in the water sports, I mean, horse riding, you get your rugby, sure. there's loads more. Just little incidents in boxing. And but with like motor racing and, and like horse riding, motor sports. they've got helmets and they've got protective gear. Yeah, but there's still, there's still plenty of tragedies in there, you know. There's still people getting really injured and, and hurt. And there's a lot yeah. of people dying, I know. Unfortunately, the, these are new measures have only sort of been unveiled 12 days after the tragic death of James Murray, as you said before. Um, how, how, how do you think his death has affected, you know, the, the, the morals against boxing? Uh, it's, it's, it's in people's head basically about boxing, but um, saying that people do like boxing and I don't think a lot of people want to see it banned to tell you the truth. But um, as I say, it does happen and it's sad. My heart goes out to James Moroney's family, yeah. Um, yeah, actually, aren't we raising money? In yeah, the of James? we'll be raising money. I think all the fighters will tell you the truth. How, how will you be doing that? Uh, we'll be going around doing exhibitions or whatever, you know, we'll be raising money. And what do, what do you say to people who think that boxing should be banned? Uh, I think they should change their opinion about boxing because it's my living. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not just because of that. I mean, everybody uh, everybody likes boxing, you know. Uh, I don't think it should be banned. I mean, if it goes underground, there'll be plenty more injuries and there'll be no supervision whatsoever and there'll be a lot, a lot more people getting hurt. So it'd be stupid, you know, to ban boxing. Now, moving on, you're, you're a native of Sheffield, as we know, but your family originally from the Yemen, correct? They are from the Yemen. And, uh, and uh, is it true you're a close friend of uh, the president? I'm a good friend of the president. He rings now and again, but I never ring him. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, I can't really rub to ring. I let my dad do that. I let my dad ring him now and again, but uh, when he wants to speak to me, he rings, he rings me, you know. He has to go through your secretary's phone. That's it, yes, yes, my father first. <laughs> now, I also hear that he's given you a palace. Is this yeah, true? a big palace it is. I haven't really seen it yet. But, um, it's amazing. And it's like 30 bedrooms or something? Something like that. It's going to be like a maze, I heard. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to have to check. I'm going to have to check it up and go out there and see what it's like. But I also received a nice Mercedes off him. Very nice. Is that to drive here or? Yeah, it's a drive. It's drive here. He's sent it straight over, there. you know. Well, we've got something a little special for you later on about your palace. But uh, I, uh, I'm very pleased actually now. I have to say thank you very much for putting me down as one of your ten sexiest women in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> oh. hey, exactly. Hey, what number do I come in this top ten? <laughs> be very careful now. I've still my left. <laughs> I'm not really sure, you know. Maybe coming in the next two, three. Oh, yeah. Is that a good number? Is that a good number? Is that a good number? Mm, 
can be number I really pick number one, you know. I'm just, okay. I'm just uh, okay. looking that I'm sitting on the fence, you know. That's okay. <laughs> That's great. All right, we're going to be seeing you later on. We've got a surprise for you, so stick around with us, okay? Okay. Anyway, um, uh, now it is <laughs> it is indeed Thursday, the 26th of October. And uh, what's the name of the band meeting? I don't remember the telephone. Of the most exclusive hotels around the world. Hi, Jane. Um, what sort of style have you chosen for tonight? Well, I've chosen good old British traditional. So you could take a good, good old British, British traditional, traditional eh? all made in Britain. <laughs> Right, and well, what things have you brought to tempt Nazareth? Well, I thought after a hard day, he could have these wonderful taps and his baths were made by C.P. Hart with his waterloo well, shower in his head. Nice, nice, right? right. And then there's um, stainless, um, sorry, chrome and um, porcelain handles. And then this, the latest craze in Britain is heraldic fabric. So I thought I'd make put them on my shorts. You, yeah, you can put those on your shorts, they'd be good. Um, and these, you could have these as the curtains. Yeah, um, shorts made out of the shorts. Shorts, yes. Um, this is made by Nina, designed by Nina Campbell. Go and have a sewing chair, see if that's comfortable. Now this, you nice would relax in. Have a seat. After a hard day of fighting. Nice. And then which has worth a lot of money. It's How made much? by William Yearwood. So How much is that? William, I know William. Do you have a look? Yeah. Right, well then you can put your feet up on, um, you know, have a run up, and then you're relaxed. Yeah. And yeah. does this feel comfortable? How do you like this style, Naz? It's all right, you know, but I prefer the other chair. Prefer the other chair. <laughs> but do you, are you, are you, are you, do you like the British themes at all? Uh, I do like the, that stuff, yeah, I do like it. Okay, well, let's move on. Thank British. you, Jane. Thank you. Thank Come you. on, Naz. Last but not least, we've got here um, Janan Abu Saud, is that correct? And uh, she has her own gallery, and she's had the likes of Lenny Kravitz and Vanessa Paradis at the Paradis Academy. Uh, so, so tell us what sort of style you've chosen for I've course. chosen individual but flamboyant for you. Oh! Sounds very you. And uh, what, what sort of things have you brought to tempt him? Well, we've got the Wings of Desire here, which is a wonderfully big chair. Actually, this is more comfortable than the other two, so yeah. I've got to give it, she probably knows my style. Yeah. And this piece here is for an intimate conversation for two. Yeah. One person sits either side of it. Do they go down? They don't go down. <laughs> <laughs> At least they shouldn't. Okay. And then, of course, a hi-fi cabinet for all your stereo and CDs. That looks nice. That looks good, isn't it? Stylish. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. And, and every superstar movies. like yourself should have a portrait. What do you think of that? Who, who painted that? Paul Riley. Paul Riley. Who's a huge fan. What do you think of that, Les? I think that is a really good... Uh... Would you like to buy it? <laughs> is it up for sale? It's up for sale. Yeah? Well, oh. how, mu how much? It's £2,000. You can afford yeah. that, Naz. Come on. Yeah. No problem. Go on, have it. It's a nice piece of life. It's a know? very good one, isn't it? Yeah. You like that? So which of the three styles that we've shown you would you like best? Um... I do like that actually. I think you, you overall, out of all the pieces, you've, you've liked the set the best, haven't you? Yeah, I do actually. You know, you're you're young, as you said, the flamboyant, flamboyant look, you know? And you're a flamboyant type of guy. Very sure. comfortable. Would, would you buy this sort of stuff? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, <laughs> I'm not too sure. I like the, I like the cabinet, you know? And, uh, yeah, you're waiting for the president to give you one, aren't you? <laughs> you know, I'm, used, I'm used to be giving presents, so... Uh... Oh, it's such a tough life, isn't it? But thank you, Janan, for coming in. Pleasure. And uh, we'll, we'll let you sort of debate over where you, whether you want to buy that portrait yeah, or not. Just, yeah? It seems a bit odd. Oh, it seems a bit odd? Hard. 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 Go on, Sonic, go and try it. Go and have a lounge. Have a chaise Put your feet out. Are oh. oh. you supposed to be sitting on the side of me, yeah? yeah. Okay. Does that suit you, Star? Yeah, I yeah. think it is nice, actually. Stuff. Yeah, I would be interested in this. Could you get one in leopard skin? You sure could. Yeah? Let's go, mate. President, if you can hear him now, he wants one in leopard skin. <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone for uh, thinking about that. Question about the clip now is what happens to one of the skydivers? I don't remember the clip.